One of my favorite things to make with fresh summer corn is elotes. Now it's Mexican street food. They take charred cobs of corn, slather it with chili and lime, and then pour over crema and of course cheese. Oh, it's so beautiful. But Erin's here with a simpler version. It's kind of more like a corn salad called esquites. Yes, Bridget, esquites is such a great dish. It has such dimension and flavors and textures. And the beauty of making this into a salad is that you get the perfect bite with every single spoonful. It's a perfect so ratio easy. of flavor and texture. All right. All right. Sold. So Bridget, as you mentioned, Mexican crema is one of the key ingredients in this recipe. It's so good. It's cultured cream mm -hmm. and it's spiked with lime juice, but it can be hard to find in grocery sure. stores. So I actually created a substitute for it. We're going to start with three tablespoons of sour cream, three tablespoons of lime juice. We're not shy with the lime. One tablespoon of mayonnaise. This helps to kind of give it some clingability and it's gonna thicken the sauce a little bit. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm just gonna whisk these together. Yeah, this is so smart because crema really is everything in one mixture. It yep. It's dairy, it's tangy, it's got lots of seasoning to it. It's an all-in-one product. It's amazing. Yeah. I could drink it. That is you a great drink substitute. It later? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so next we're gonna move on to serranos. So Mexican street corn, it has a little kick of heat to it. So I'm gonna slice up two serrano chilies into eighth inch thick slices. Rib seeds and all. Rib seeds and all. You like heat, right? I love heat. Good. Now is this one of those recipes that's heat adjustable? It is heat adjustable. You can just um, add one. And also, if you don't have serrano, sometimes serranos are not in the grocery store mm -hmm. for whatever reason, you can substitute a jalapeno. Okay. Just cut it in half uh, lengthwise first. All right. And then cut them into eighth inch thick slices. Perfect. Now I'm gonna add this to my sauce. Oh, the smell of the serranos it in here. Smells so good. It's like in between a jalapeno and a green bell pepper. It has, yeah. that, has that really amazing pepper aroma to it, yep. but then you can smell the heat coming off of them. Yes, you can. <laughs> so now we're gonna get to the star of the show. So we're gonna use six ears of corn and I'm gonna cut them off of the cob. So we're gonna yield about six cups of corn. A big difference from elotes where you're yeah. grilling the whole cob. So. You are, absolutely. I don't know about you, but I have chased corn kernels all over my kitchen before it's until true. I got smart. What I'm gonna do is I'm holding this and the base is down and I have my knife up here and I'm just gonna slice right through this and most of them you have a couple of jumpers, but most of them will go right into the pie plate. Yeah, I usually save all of my corn cutting for New Year's Eve, so it's just, it's like confetti. Exactly. And it's a snap. So I'm just going to add those to the bowl. Okay, Bridget, it's time to get cooking. We're not going to fire up the grill. No, because they're just going to fall through the grates. They would fall through the grates, <laughs> right? <laughs> right now, I'm heating up a tablespoon of vegetable oil in a 12-inch nonstick skillet over high heat. We want a lot of heat. We really want that char from that you get from the grill. So I actually, I tried broiling the corn, sure. thinking that that was like a natural substitute. An indoor grill. Yeah, it didn't work out so well. Some of the corn kernels got charred, but the other ones got leathery and dry. So I cut the corn off the cob, thinking that I could broil that but it's too far away from the element, and by the time it actually charred, it was overcooked. Right. So here we are with the skillet, and this is perfect. Oil's hot, you can see it's shimmering and dancing around. I'm gonna actually cook half of the corn right now. I'm just gonna put half of the corn into the pan. So I really wanna get this into an even layer in the skillet, going up the sides. Basically, I want as much contact with the corn kernels to the hot skillet as possible. So I think that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna sprinkle this with a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna let it go, I'm gonna put a lid on it and let that go without touching it for three minutes. By dividing the corn into two different batches, I'm getting twice the amount of char, and by cooking it with the lid on, it's trapping the steam, and it's cooking the corn that's not touching the bottom, it's just steaming it perfectly. So six minutes total, that's still super fast. Super fast. All right, Bridget, I'm gonna remove this from the heat for 15 seconds. All the popping corn, we wanna keep it in the pan, so. All That's right. why we need a little 15 second rest here. It's a timeout. It's a timeout. Right. Yes. Settle down. Get it corn. together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that smell is it incredible. Smell great. Yes. It smells like it came off the grill. You really want that char. That's mm -hmm. like one of the signature flavors in the dish. Exactly. And check that out. See? Look at that char. That's what you That's want. Exactly what we want. Ugh. Actually, I think that is a better job of charring corn than I usually get on my grill. I think you're right, is when you cut the corn kernels off the cob, it allows some of the sugars and the starches to kind of come out of the cob. And so you can see some of the black bits in here. Those are the juices that have charred. Oh. And it's gonna add more flavor to our salad. All the natural sugars just mm -hmm. caramelizing. So we're gonna repeat that with the second half of our corn. So I'm gonna add another tablespoon of oil. 
Okay, our oil is hot. I can see little wisps of smoke coming. So I'm gonna add the rest of our corn. Do you hear something? It sounds like movie night. <laughs> it does sound like movie night. It smells like it too. Okay, so it's been 15 seconds. It's quieted down. <laughs> Almost too quiet. So now it's gonna loosen up all that corn. Yes, we like that char. I'm gonna reduce the heat down to medium. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of oil, two cloves of garlic, and a half a teaspoon of chili powder. This is gonna add complexity to our dish and it's gonna add a little bit of heat to our dish. And plus that's part of elotes. They yes, typically will take the lime, half lime, and dip it in chili powder and just slather that yes, corn cobs with absolutely. it. So it's great that it's in there. And what we're doing here is we're actually blooming the chili powder so mm -hmm. it's getting more complex and more flavor will come out. Now we're just gonna add this to our corn and I'm gonna stir this all together. We wanna coat the corn with all the crema and we're gonna let this cool for 15 minutes. Okay, Bridget, it has been 15 minutes and this has cooled off, it's still a little warm. Yes. Okay, now we're gonna finish it. We're gonna add one cup of cotija cheese. This is a dry, salty cheese, which is great. And if you can't find it, just substitute feta cheese for okay. it. Okay. And we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of cilantro. We want a healthy amount of cilantro. Adding fresh ingredients right at the end. Right so at the end. they retain their flavor. Yes, adds more texture. And three scallions, I've sliced them up very thin and stir it all together. And that crema really has coated all those charred corn kernels it's, beautifully. It's doing its job, yeah. yeah. It really is. All right, mm. now, as with anything, I'm gonna taste it to make sure it's good for seasoning. <laughs> it's so good. Would you like some esquite? I would love some. It's so fragrant in here between the toasted corn aroma, that little bit of cilantro that you added right at the last yeah. second. That's kind of amazing. Kind of. <laughs> I've kind of all sorts of awesome. There's just so many flavors and textures going oh. on. You know what I love is that little bit of chili powder and the garlic yep. that you sauteed. <laughs> Gave it a toasty flavor yep. alongside of the charred corn. Absolutely. And this is so fresh and bright. It couldn't get any better. If you'd like to make this beautiful corn salad, make a crema based sauce with sour cream, mayo, and lime juice and stir in sliced serrano chilies. Char fresh corn kernels in two batches in a skillet. Toss with the sauce, then add sauteed garlic and chili powder. Add cotilla, cilantro, and scallions, and season with salt and lime juice. From our test kitchen to your kitchen, a spicy and toasty Mexican corn salad or esquites. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.